right so to form a virtual chassis fab uh, right first thing we need is uh, devices according to the models that we have listed right you cannot take up any two, two devices and say hey form vc devices uh, according to the recommended or the listed models only has to be there and they have to be connected the old generation devices like 4200 etc they used to come up with dedicated virtual chassis ports and virtual chassis cables 4200 4500 they used to come with a dedicated virtual chassis port each of 32 gig and uh, a dedicated virtual chassis cable i can't even use it for networking part at all it is only for virtual chassis that's it but today all the if you remember all the els models that are there right we don't use a dedicated port instead we use uh, of course this is supported there as well we instead we use the 10 gig port or the 40 gig port that we have right we would use them they would be the regular uplink ports through an operational mode command i would convert it as a virtual chassis port through an operational mode command i would convert them as a virtual chassis port normally when i connect them back to back it is like two switches connected back to back but if i connect these port from a regular uplink port to a vc port through an operational mode command then these two are not like connected back to back they formed virtual chassis and it is like a single switch now right so to form a virtual chassis one the combination of the devices and two virtual chassis ports basically dedicated uh, 40 gig ports or 10 gig ports because you have uh, ex2300 let's say if you see ex2300 has only 10 gig ports they don't have 40 gig so there we do with only 10 gig ports 3400 4300 4600 qfx51 5200 all these guys will have 40 gig port at least right so for all these guys we would form it through the 40 gig ports only and all these devices now will together form as if it is a virtual chassis sorry as if it is a single switch now in virtual chassis like i have mentioned it has to be a ring you can just do a mismatch of connections like this connected to this this connected to this this connected to this like a random mismatch maybe you may not be completing a ring over there right so the not for virtual chassis normally when you go for a uh, typical ring style architecture right there are two famous ones one is daisy chain ring method wherein you connect every switch with one switch below and one switch above so if you see this guy is connecting to one switch below and one switch above similarly he too would connect to one switch above and one switch below now see what a simple ring it is like when i put it like this it's like this one left one right one left one right as simple as that then the next one is called as bridled ring method bridled ring method is slide is used to like with the same length cables you may want to increase the distance between first switch and last switch now if you see in the bridled ring method in the bridled ring method what can be the maximum distance between first switch and last switch the cable length itself correct maximum distance uh, between them could be the cable length minus certain stuff because i have to bend etc right so maximum distance is that only agree yeah that's right? that's i think uh, we can go hardly uh, max to max 7 meters Uh, but see these are all 40 gig ports right dac cable itself will come like 7 meters but what if i go with a qsfp plus port uh, then in that case it will be less it can be more dac is less if we go with a qsfp plus with my own cable i can go to an extended distance as well oh, okay, okay. right okay. so virtual chassis can form in a circumference of up to like with 40 gig ports up to like 10 kilometers the entire ring circumference can be 100 10 kilometers for 40 gig ports right yeah now what if like i have already purchased like i have already purchased 5 meter dac cables right but for some reason the first switch and last switch are like at 6 meters fixed now what is the solution if i go with a daisy chained one i have to mandatorily 
if i go with a dicey chain one i have to mandatorily connect the first one with the last one and i don't have a 6 meter cable right in that cases we go with a dicey chain mechanism sorry bridled ring mechanism bridled ring is simpler but it works with even number of switches only better and uh, in that right everybody so if i am one i will give one connection to two and another one to three right everybody so one of my connection will go to my immediate guy and one of my connection will go like one hop later right so if you see two right two has already given one here so two will connect to four and there will be one connection between 3 and 4 see this is not that juniper has invented bridled ring method is a style of ring connectivity that exists already right now when you go with the bridled ring method right now if you see everybody is connected to at least two and we completed the ring now in this right now i have increased the distance now the formula that works normally and it works only with an even number of switches is that cable length maximum cable length when it is unified maximum ca uh, cable length that you have into number of switches minus 1 by 2 so in this case the cable length that i have taken is 5 and number of switches that i have taken is 4 so 4 minus 1 3 by 2 7.5 now see i did not change i did not buy a new cable right just by going with a different strategy of connectivity i now made first switch and last switch can be as far as 7.5 meters and our case study of 6 meters fall in picture are we good any questions So, uh, so, yeah, no. One question I had is like, uh, see, if these uh, switches we have extra ports also. So, if we popular popular those ports with the uh, DAC cables, do we get additional uh, like yes. bandwidth? Uh, yes. So, when we have similar band uh, similar bandwidths connected, let's say between one and two, I have between one and two. I'm sorry, somebody is in the lobby. Two forty gig ports, right? They would automatically lag, and it becomes a single eighty gig port. It would be auto lagged. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. audible. So it would be auto lagged. Any questions? So doing so doing the same thing in a QFX is really uh, I think uh, like in that also we can make uh, virtual chassis with the ten switches uh, only right? Yeah, max ten. Max ten, and we use QFX port with the uh, uh, like uh, uh, say uh, all the nine ports we can use together, right? Uh, it's not like we can use all ten ports. What nine ports or ten ports? For the uh, virtual chassis. See, you can use as many ports as you can, but normally QFX the most sold model is five one double zero forty eight S. Okay. If you see forty eight S, right? It comes up with six forty gig ports. Okay, then it can be only six can be four. But in a five two double zero. Again, again, my thing is like if you are using all six of them for VC only, what would you give for uplink? Oh, correct, correct, correct. And but in the yeah. uh, Pavan five two double zero model, uh, all thirty two uh, Q uh, that thirty two QC model, I think, uh, as far as I remember, is that uh, we can have uh, approximately thirty two forty gig port, uh, and yeah, we can use. Ah, uh, huh? in fifty two hundred, uh, only two switches are supported in a VC. Two switches are only supported in VC. Okay. Yeah, two ten. So fifty two. The, to make it at uh -huh. least four, I don't know if it would be delivered or not. Or I once came to know that there was an ask from somebody that um, can we make it like four switches? Okay, now 
This one is the extended one. What if the distance is like really long? It has become really long. In such cases, right? Um, so I will keep the switches at one location and connect them using my back cables typically here too. And between these two sides, I would run an extended cable using 10 gig link or 40 gig link. Right, completing the ring rather than like making everything as a single ring. I make two individual rings and connect those two rings as a ring. It's like this. And making a single joint ring. <clears throat> Are we good? Typically, we use it in campuses like where we have two buildings, right? And um, one building has to run even if the other building is down independently in a full ring topology. In that cases, Building one, building two, extend it, extend it as another ring between building one and building two. Have we yeah, typically yeah. to these three styles of connectivities, and uh, <clears throat> normally you can place RE anywhere. Normally, in the deployments that I've done, the customer wants first switch to be the master and the last switch to be the backup, or first switch master, second switch backup. Easy to look and identify. Right, but basically they can be anywhere and they can work anywhere. But during some testings and a little permutation and combinations involving a failure, we found that according and we made a recommendation based on that that if you are using Daisy chain, then keep alternate devices as your master and backup. Okay, and if you are using uh, Brighter ring method, use immediate devices as your master and backup. But it is no sin keeping any random devices like this is master, this is backup. It is no sin and it works perfectly fine. Right? Only doing a lot of permutation and combination of failures with based on an algorithm, we just came up like, okay, you do this, maybe you may see uh, the impact of a failure a bit less. That's it. But there is no problem if your customers are not at all following it. And uh, only one switch is, I mean, the first switch is master, second switch is backup, or the top switch is master and the bottom switch is backup, etc. While I was going for deployment, I always got the same case. Like uh, when we go for mounting, customer asks, first switch is master, second switch is backup, typically. Then if you are using the extended style, right, keep the switch at one location as master and switch at a different location as backup. Just make sure that you do this so that even if one building is completely down, still the backup will become the master and would take over and your virtual chassis still be up and running. <laughs>